Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Web Tech Tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to back up Snapchat photos. Keep watching the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you've not yet. Also press the notification bell icon so that you'll never miss another upcoming updates from us. Now let's get started. Tap open your Snapchat application from your app drawer and make sure that you're logged in. Now tap on your profile button at the upper left hand corner and you'll end up in this page. Tap on the gear button at the upper right hand corner from your profile page. Now scroll down and tap on memories. To ensure that your memories are completely backed up on Snapchat, tap on the backup progress that says complete. Check if your backup progress says complete. If your backup progress says snaps remaining or no network connection, then your memories are not completely backed up. Make sure that your device has good cellular service or connected to a Wi-Fi. Once you ensure that your backup is completed, you can easily back up your memories that you collect from Snapchat on your Snapchat application. You can also enable Smart Backup by tapping on this toggle button right next to Smart Backup. Once you do that, memories may back up over mobile data when Wi-Fi is not available. Let me just turn that off right now. You can also import snaps from your device's camera roll into memories. Tap on import snaps from camera roll and select the picture that you'd like to import. Tap on import at the bottom and now go back. Now tap on the save button and see where your snaps and stories go and select the destination for your snaps. If you enable the button right next to save to my eyes only by default, the snaps and stories will be saved automatically in my eyes only. There is another feature like flashback if you turn that on, you'll be able to see snaps from today in past years at the top of the memories. That is how you can easily back up your Snapchat photos or memories quick and easy. I hope the tutorial was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. I'll be back soon with more tutorial videos like this. Thank you for watching.